Fabio, email marketing for Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can integrate Clavio into your Shopify store. What are the different types of segmentations and different types of email marketing emails that you can send? So covering all the basics of email marketing, let's jump right in. To get started, simply log on to your Shopify store and then click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, click on apps and sales channels on the left. Once you do that, from the top right, click on Shopify App Store. Once you have opened up the Shopify App Store, you're going to search for the Clavio application. So simply search for Clavio. And once you search for Clavio, you will see this application. So click on this application and click on install. Once you click on install, in a new tab, you will have the installation page opened up. So click on install over here. And once you have completed that, your Clavio integration has been completed. Now you have to complete your second step, which is creating your account. So I already have an account on Clavio, and I'm just going to click on login. However, if you don't have one already, you're going to just proceed with your email and just put in a suitable password, and then your Clavio account that will be directly linked to your Shopify store will be created. So I am just logging into my account and I'm just confirming that I am not a robot and click on log in. Once you do that, you will be linked to your Shopify store. So as you guys can see, once you have linked this, you will find Shopify in your integrations on Clavio. So if I click on Shopify over here, it will show my Shopify store. And I will click on re-authenticate with Shopify to make sure that it is connected on both ways, like so. And once this has been completed, you will see you can click on update integration and then this will be updated. And once we do that, we can go into our Shopify store and click on online store. Now, once you click on online store, you have to enable the app embed. So click on customize over here in your store and once you click on customize you're going to click on app embeds and turn on the clavio app so from here just turn this on and then click on save now you can exit and once you have exited you can click on apps and open up the clavio application so as you guys can see i have completed our sync and then you can just click on update settings over here to complete the syncing of your shopify store make sure it is the same shopify store that you are linking in case you have two accounts so i want to update our integration and maybe i want to remove this integration and then connect my own shopify store from clavio so you can click on add integration and then search for shopify from here and then once you do that you can click on the shopify store url so i'll copy this url from here and once you do that you can click on connect to shopify like this and now once you do that, you can choose to build a connection from Clavio to Shopify. So I will just click on integrate over here. And now this integration has been completed. Now, once you do that, you can click on home on your Clavio dashboard. And once you click on home, you can see a basic summary of your business. So the business performance will be shown to you, such as your revenue, the attributed revenue to Clavio or your emails. And then you have the recipient information, top performing flows, and any recent campaigns. Now on the left, you have the audience section, which is one of the most important sections before you get started with email marketing. So in your audience options, you can click on create new and build different types of lists or segments. These are two different things. So when you're adding your profiles, a profile is just going to have a email address and a name. That's usually all you need for a profile. You can go on ahead and add as many as you want. However, a more important function is building lists and segments. So these are two different things. A list is a static list that you create once. For example, I can make a list of all of the customers whose name starts with an A in my email marketing you know, lists. And then maybe I want to offer them all a special discount. That is a particular list that has a basic feature and that is all. 
However, if you're segmenting your audience, that is going to be different. So you can click on create new and click on create segment. Now, how is a segment different? Well, a segment means that they have a distinctive characteristic that they are displaying, which is why they are in a particular segment. So for example, I can build a segment based on customer status. So I can add a definition. Let's say when someone has done, and I can choose a metric where they have, let's say they have placed an order or maybe even let's say, yeah, they have placed an order at least they have placed an order greater than four items in the last 30 days and i can click on create segment now what this does is that this will show me any people in my shopify mailing list or in my shopify profiles that have placed over four orders in the past 30 days which i can categorize as my vip customers and this will change over time so if a customer doesn't place an order for quite some time they will be removed from this list and your segments will constantly be updated so you have the relevant profiles at your hand now this is just about lists and segmentations how can you actually gather emails well, to gather emails, you usually have to build a signup form and you have the option to build that directly in Klaviyo. So just click on signup form and click on create signup form over here. You have a few templates that can help you in getting started and just click on create new signup form. This can be in the form of a embedded form, a flyout, full page or a pop up. And then this might be a simple sign up like this. And then you can click on save and continue to design. So this will be for our preview list. Now, once we do that, we can choose to design our sign up and then just integrate that into your website. So click on publish over here. I'm not designing it because I already have a video on designing this, but you're just going to publish that. And then once you do that, you're going to go into your sign up forms and then you can click on add forms to website. And then you're going to add the link to your Shopify store. So copy that and then paste that over here like so and then click on check form installation and then you will have this form installed into your sign up pages now once you have completed that you can finally get started with email marketing so for email marketing you're going to go into campaigns and then click on create campaign you can choose a particular campaign name date and then choose the type of campaign you want to send so for us this might be a welcome email and the date will be today and then this will be a email based campaign and I can choose a specific tag for which customers this might be sent to. Click on save and continue. And then from here, you can formulate your email accordingly. So for example, if I want to send this to all of my customers, I can choose all of them as well. And I want to send this to everyone. So I'm just going to select this. And then I can also choose a don't send option. So maybe I don't want to send them to a particular segment. Then I'm not going to skip the recently emailed profile and then click on continue to content. Once you click on continue to content, you can get started with the drag and drop editor on Klaviyo to build your emails. They have some pre-existing templates as well. And once you have completed that, you can start with A-B testing or just send out your emails as they are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.